Hi, this is Kim, and this is a segment on making a holiday bracelet. So, here I have bead and stretch, um, super stretchy cord in 7.7 millimeter in diameter, in clear. And last night I started this already. Um, this one's for me. I previously made one for someone else, but in different, because any time I make something for someone, it always has to be something different than the previous. So, for this you need some crystal beads. I prefer using the Swarovskis, because to me, they seem to sparkle more. So, I've got, I think it's four or eight millimeter, I can't remember, and then the smaller size, green and red, and I don't know where to find these, but they remind me of hard candies. I got these at a discount store, which means more likely you might not find them. Um, but if you can find them, great, if you like them. Um, and you also need spacers. That's one kind. And here's another kind as well. Um, these are great. These are called, I think these are called bugs or something like that. You attach them to the wire or string so that your beads don't fall off. Beading bugs, something like that. Uh, so here, and then the rest of it, along this side, I am going to add these red and green seed beads. I don't know how well you can see those in my hand. I'm trying to keep them as oops far away as possible. Um and here's the green. They usually are better when they have like that little I don't know if you can see it well, but there's like a in some of them you might be able to see a shine. If it has like that silver foil inside, they usually look the best that way and it pop the color pops. And here I also have um that I'm gonna try and fit on it a silver balls, a couple of silver balls. Um here's these oh did I show here's a silver ball and here's a couple of other beads that I was going to try experimenting with, and a bell. So I don't know if that'll go on, but it's at least something. And I don't know, is it, and I have one more thing for you to see. That is all, <laughs> well, not all my beads, but you might... Instead of, if you're not into Christmas, if you say, prefer Yule and Solstice, or Hanukkah, get yourself a variety of blue-colored beads, like all those in here, varying darkness, varying shades. There's a dark one, this one reminds me of snow. There's a darker one and light ones, and then here are some with a few little splashes of paint on them. And see if you can find, like, something that's a teardrop look, as well as snowflakes, snowmen, um, and the Star of David, whatever you can think of to put on it, because it will look awesome. Here's some nice clear blue beads that look like water droplets. Um, here's another dark one, which is really nice. One of the girls I used to work with gave that to me. <laughs> and I think as far as, oh, you might also want to try some white beads like this that have a sort of texture to them, because this way then it could look like snowballs. Um, 
and, you know, like silver, stuff that's like silvery. Because this way, this has, or like something that's like, oh, this you can't really see. I hate this camera. <laughs> looks, this is stuff that looks like cracked ice is also good. And for a sneak peek, because I don't know what I'm going to get to it, this is what is supposed to in the future eventually be my earrings. This is Lapis Lazuli Wedges, and sadly I have um, two heart beads that are Lapis Lazuli, but sadly the people who send them to me did not drill the hole straight through the bead. So I'm a little upset about that, that I can't make it that way. So now i got to figure out a new way. And, you know, it's great because when you make your own jewelry, you might get, it's a little more sentimental, for one. When it breaks, your heart is broken. But, hey, you just may redo it in another way, and the new way might look better. So, that is all. Remember, stretch the spacers. This, these are spacers. And you need those red and, and green beads and some decorative stuff. And that is all. Have a